Over a year ago, I made a promise to do something and now 365 days further down the line, I haven't done it. I failed. What was it I failed at? And what are the reasons why I failed? In sales, it's so essential that we understand what it is that stops us from achieving the goals and the dreams and the plans that we have. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you six key things that you're gonna to need to consider if you wanna ensure you don't do what I did and fail on the goal that you set. My name is James White. I'm the UK's leading prospect conversion expert. Let's have a look at the video and make sure you don't do these six things and ensure that you don't fail to miss the targets like I have. So what is it that I've failed at? I started my sales mentoring business and I've been really focused on hitting my sales numbers. But a year ago, I made a commitment in my Saturday sales email to get a book, to be in a position on my next birthday to have a book in my hand. Books are brilliant. I love them. They're a great way to learn. And I shared a video a couple of months ago on how it's so important for you to keep learning for you to get the right results in sales. But I made a commitment that I would have a book printed and done by me a year down the line. And now, here it is, a year on, I haven't got the book. I don't have a book, great book, The Intelligent Entrepreneur or Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. I haven't got that book. I don't have the book that I want that says James White and what I do to help people from a sales perspective. So why did I fail? So I think there are six reasons why I failed. And I think that these reasons are also really important when it comes to you and the sales targets and the plans that you have. So I'm gonna share with you on the whiteboard the reasons why I failed and tell me what you think. Do you agree? Is that the reason why you don't achieve things? What happens to you to stop you achieving the plans and the goals and the dreams you had? I had a dream of having a book in my hand and I haven't got it. So why is that? And what are the reasons for it? So the first thing that I think is really important is this. The word priority. I didn't make it a priority. I didn't make writing my book a priority in my world, in my business, in what I do. And ultimately, that's a choice that I've made and I can't sit here now and stand here now a year on and say, oh, I wish I had my book because I didn't make it a priority in the first place. If things are important to you, you make them a priority to you. And if they're not, you choose not to do them. I guess in my world, the reality is I've not made my, writing my book a priority. And that's something I've got to go and change if I want to go and deliver the dream of having the book in my hand. So my question to you is, do you make the sales targets that you put in place a priority? How important on your list are they? Are they really important? Or do you just want to put them there as an idea to do something, but then not make them a priority to deliver it? If something's a priority, you'll make it happen. You'll take the action to go and do what you need to do. And if you don't, you won't. And that's where you end up, like I have, not with something that I wanted to achieve. The next point, and let's be really, really honest, and it's one of the biggest reasons why we fail, and that's the word excuses. I made excuses, simple as that. I gave other reasons why I couldn't achieve something. There was always something else I was doing. I was busy doing this report or meeting that client or creating that video. I've created lots of things. I've achieved lots of things over the year. I've grown a business literally by huge amounts, over a hundred thousand pound in additional revenue. But the one goal I had, I didn't achieve because I've made excuses. I've put other things first. And the reality is, you have two options in business and in life in general. You can either get things done or you can make excuses. In this case here, I look at myself in the mirror and say I've made excuses. And that's why this has not been achieved. So my question to you is when you didn't hit your sales target or when you haven't closed the deal, what's the reason for it? Is it an excuse? Do you blame the prospect? Do you blame something for happening? Or do you actually look at yourself in the mirror and say it's me, I'm at fault for this, I'm accountable, no more excuses, I'm the one that she's to blame for not making this happen. I know in my case, I've made excuses and it's why I haven't got what I want in place. What's your excuse for not achieving the targets and goals that you have? Be interested to hear. Put yourself some comments in the section below and tell me you know, what are the excuses that get in the way of you achieving the things you want to. So what's the third reason why I didn't achieve the goals that I wanted to and I didn't have this book in front of me? And it belongs to this reason here. Habit. I didn't build a good enough habit on a regular basis to make my book writing something that I needed to do. I talk to a lot of people about habits and how habits are so important when it comes to sales and business results in general. I built up a habit with this thing on my arm, a Fitbit, where I've walked 12 and a half thousand steps a day for the last two years. And I've got into a habit, it literally is an addiction for me now to do it. I didn't make that habit the same for writing a book. All the authors and the people that have told me is you need to make that one hour, if I'd have put one hour a day aside for writing my book, 
every single day and always religiously did it like I do with my Fitbit, I'd be here with a book in my hand, but I didn't. I didn't make it a habit. And when you build good habits, you get results. If you don't build those habits, you don't take the actions, then you're not gonna get what you want. So the question for you is, what are the habits that are stopping you from achieving your goals? What are the things that you could put in place that are religious you're gonna do on a daily or weekly basis, preferably daily, that are gonna mean you're gonna hit your sales numbers? If you haven't got those habits there, you're gonna be like me and not hit the targets you want. And I don't want that to be the, the case for you. Focus on a habit that you can do to prospect or to speak to. Maybe it's a habit you can speak to one new prospect per day. Maybe you can contact one new leader there. I don't know. Think of a habit that could work and stick to it and be religious about it. It takes 66 days for that habit to sink in. And once it does, you'll be in a far better place to go and achieve the things you want. Point number four is also a really challenging issue for us all as human beings in general. And that's the word uncomfortable. Make sure I need to spell it here. I didn't do the uncomfortable things. The things that, do you know what? The things that are easy are easy to do. The things that you just wake up and think, I'm gonna go and brush my teeth, it's easy to do. What are the things that are tough? Maybe going to the gym every day. Maybe making the time to do certain things that you really don't like, but you know have to be done. In writing a book, I'm gonna to have to do the uncomfortable things, and I didn't do them. I didn't discipline myself. I didn't take the time to actually sit down and say, no, I'm gonna do these things, because I know at the end of that uncomfortable place is a better place. The reality in, in life and business is anything worth achieving is gonna take some work. It's gonna take a bit of pushing. It's gonna take a bit of a challenge for us to get to that point. It's gonna make us uncomfortable. But as I've learned in my life, actually where the best things happen is sometimes outside our comfort zone. When we're too focused, too easy, it's too easy. When we do things that are uncomfortable, we get better results. What are the things that you think, I can't do that, I'm not gonna do that, it's too, it's too, oh, I can't do that, that actually will make a massive difference in your business and the way you work. I know in my case it would have been a major thing for me if I'd have taken that uncomfortable decision and disciplined myself, I'd have had a book now. I haven't. Don't make that same mistake. Challenge yourself. Do the things that are uncomfortable. And if you do, it's going to help you get where you want to be. So the fifth point I think is really key when it comes to basically not achieving your goals is around the word visualisation and being visual about it. If you talk to so many business experts, they'll tell you they were able to visualize in their mind what it looked like when they achieved the success. They were able to be in a position where they had the book in their hand, they could see it, they dreamt about it, it was all they focused on and worked for. And they kept on visualizing, every day I'm gonna be in that position, I'm gonna be in that position. And when you visualize yourself in that position, you act like you're really there, it helps you take the actions that you want to, to be able to feel yourself in that position, to be having a book and be, and be able to achieve those results. Do you visualize the actions? Do you really look and say, I can see myself in that position with a bank balance of X or with 100 happy new customers or whatever it is that you want to achieve? If you visualize it, if you can put your mind back and think, what does this look like? It's going to be a major factor between you getting to that point and where you can get that success. Feel like you can literally touch it. Feel like you can see it. If you do that, if you visualize and you can see yourself in a position where you, you get in that success, you're going to be a helpful step towards making it happen. I didn't visualize myself enough as an author. I didn't visualize myself enough holding my book and seeing it sell on Amazon or whatever else, or seeing other people read it. It's something I needed to do, and I'm gonna try and do to make sure I hit that goal. But if you do that, if you visualize what you wanna achieve, you've got a far better chance of making it happen. So the final point of why I don't have a book in front of me now relates to, I guess, just one thing. Want. Put it bluntly, I didn't want it enough. I just didn't want it enough. If you've read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich book, you'll know that actually he talks so much about desire and about being able to want something well enough. Do you really want it to happen? Do you want it more than anything else? Or is it actually just something that you'd like to have but you're not prepared to make the sacrifices or do the uncomfortable things for? If you want something badly enough, you'll make it happen. You'll work through any obstacle, you'll work through any barrier, any challenging situation because you know you want to be in that place. And the reality is, whatever I might say to myself, I didn't want that book enough. And if I am gonna become an author, if I am gonna achieve what that goal is, I've gotta change, I've gotta want it enough, I've gotta visualize, I've gotta build the habits, I've gotta do the priority things that I want to make it a priority for me, but I've gotta have that burning desire to say, no, no, I'm not gonna accept this, I'm gonna make this happen. So for you to get your goals in the right place, if you to achieve your sales numbers, for you to achieve anything you wanna do, do you want it enough? So I hope this video has been useful to share with you the six things that I think are affecting and stopping you from achieving what you want. I think the points here are so relevant when it comes to sales. 
So many of these things stop you from achieving what you want. They're the factors that get in the way of you achieving the success and the targets and the numbers that you want to hit. If you see anything in here that you think it resonates with you, put it in the comment section below. I'd love you to do that. And if you could like or subscribe to the channel, that would be great as well. I want to work with you to achieve the goals you want and stop getting failures and stop not hitting the targets. I know the impact it has on me to not do this and I want to make sure that's not the case for you when it comes to your business and your sales numbers. Thanks for watching and I look forward to sharing another video with you really soon.